After 26 operations, Brian Mado has already defied the odds. It seemed like I had a surgery every other year of my life. Yes, sir. The 44-year-old from Phoenix is one of the oldest people with Hunter syndrome, a rare genetic disorder. People with it often die before they reach their teens. I've lived so long that I'm pretty happy I've gotten this far. I've seen a lot. Um, I've done a lot of things. On Monday, at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, Oakland, Mado also became the first patient in a groundbreaking experiment. Gene therapy is, you know, I've been waiting for that my whole life. What looks like a regular IV drip was actually the first time in the world scientists tried editing genes inside someone's body. It truly is um, the beginning of a, a new chapter. To try to cure a disease using a gene editing tool called zinc fingers. Dr. Chester Whitley is leading one of the studies. In the case of this gene editing technology, the, the idea of a zinc finger uh, being a uh, GPS-like recognition system is being exploited. People with Hunter syndrome and similar metabolic diseases lack an enzyme needed to break down certain carbohydrates. This causes damage to many parts of the body. The therapy has three parts, the new gene, and two proteins called zinc fingers. DNA instructions for each part are put into disabled viruses that carry them into liver cells. You have to think of them like fingers and parts of hands. So the two hands come together, and where they join precisely on, on the DNA, they make a, a simple cut in the DNA, and the gene is dropped in. Sangamo Therapeutics makes the treatment. The company plans to test this gene editing in adults with some metabolic diseases and hemophilia. Our ultimate goal is to get into children and as young as possible so as they don't suffer any of the consequences of the disease as they get older and older. The treatment is aimed as a one-time fix. The changes are permanent and the risk can't fully be known. But Dr. Howard Kaufman, a scientist on the panel at the National Institutes of Health, which approved the experiment, says good protections are in place. I think that we are doing a good job of providing the oversight to make sure that there are not unexpected or unmanageable side effects and that we keep all our patients and society safe. Doctors won't know for at least a month whether Mado's gene editing worked. Because he's older and already has damage from the disease, the therapy may not do him as much good. But he and his fiance, a nurse he met during an earlier hospital stay, hope this can help future patients. They're really putting yourself out there for the benefit of others, and a lot of those others don't even realize that you're doing this. A medical pioneer hoping to again defy the odds. Kathy Young, Associated Press.